Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. Hey, coming with an interesting product here. This is the Pogo Cam. It's a unit where you can capture photos and HD videos with your glasses. You can go to Pogotech.com. Now, I'm going to tell you up front, uh, because most people don't wait till the end, that we fail this product and don't recommend it in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, we'll get to the reasons why. But first, let's go over the aspects in case you really want to buy one for 99 bucks, regardless of what I say. Uh, it is a little camera that will strap onto your glasses. It comes with these little rubber bands that, and magnetic uh, mount that uh, ticks in. Uh, will pretty much hook to almost any glasses when it comes down to it. Uh, the Pogo Cam is about 1.7 inches long and 0.5 inches wide, and it weighs approximately two dimes. Uh, it's got a 5 megapixel camera that takes up to 100 photos or 6 30 second 720p HD videos on a single charge. It's got kind of an innovative sort of charge store and transfer unit where you can uh, use this case that comes with it to protect it and also charge it up to three times while on the go and it will hold up to 16,000 photos or 180 30 second videos. Uh, you can use it with your own glasses which are good and gives you that first person point of view sort of aspect. Um, it does have USB-C which is great for transferring and charging as well. Uh, and it has about 20 days standby life and 35 minutes charging time to 100% water and sweat resistant IP4 rating and um, yeah uh, pretty interesting sort of little unit and even comes with an app for iOS and Android uh, one of the issues that I had with uh, the review on their product is I could never use their marketing photos that they put on Facebook Instagram and every place else in their website I can never ever get their photos to look like the photos and videos that I was making with the unit. In fact, I was uh, horribly disappointed with the quality of the video. Geez, some of the uh, old 360 uh, pixel uh, smartphones back in the day took better pictures than this thing. It's really, really, really extremely poor photography and extremely poor video. Uh, it works really good in bright lights, um, but indoors it's completely awful. Any, any situation where it's not um, in bright lights. So uh, one of the issues I had that I took up with their PR and their management was uh, their videos don't seem to be uh, the same quality and clearly there's been some upscaling or some editing done to their videos. Uh, if you do watch their videos, they do have a thing that says that uh, it's simulated footage which is a giveaway, but they kind of blend it all together. So it is deceptive, in my opinion, uh, to consumers to give them the uh, perception that they're going to get this great quality video when they're not even going to get close. Um, anyway, it's up to you what you think of the product. You can go to pogotech.com. For me, I couldn't remember, recommend it for $99 in any way, shape, or form. Go buy a nice $100 camera. Uh, that can do a whole lot more from you. It's going to get you great photos and great pictures. And you'll be a lot more happy with yourself. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Oh my gosh. Look what's in this box. <gasps> I'd love to show you. But first you've got to subscribe, like the channel, and get notifications for your mobile thing. And then you can see what's inside boxes like these as we unbox the latest technology for you. Be sure to check it out. <gasps> oh. See you next time. Or click any of these videos. Either way. Gotta find out what's in the box.